All right, so we're back for another deep dive. And uh, this time, well, we're diving into something a lot of you have been asking about. Chelsea's match against Panathinaikos in the Conference League. So, yeah, we're going to take a look at the post-match report from Global News, really break it down for you. And uh, from what I've seen, this wasn't exactly a smooth sailing victory for Chelsea. They definitely had to work for it. And that's what makes it so interesting to analyze, right? Oh, for sure. And what really grabs your attention right off the bat is how Panathinaikos kind of just threw a curveball early on. They actually managed to score first, you know, taking advantage of some... Well, let's say less than stellar defending from Chelsea. Yeah, I saw that. A 1-0 lead for Panathinaikos right out the gate. Not exactly what the Chelsea faithful were hoping for, but hey, that's football for you. Yeah. Always got to keep you on your toes. What I'm really interested in is how Chelsea responded to that early pressure, you know, being a goal down. You know, they could have easily just folded under that pressure, but they showed some real grit and resilience. And Zhao Felix, he was absolutely crucial in turning the tide. That equalizer he scored, it wasn't just individual brilliance. It kind of felt like it reignited the whole team, you know? Oh, I bet. Can you imagine the eruption from the crowd when that shot hit the back of the net? But even beyond the fans, it seems like Felix's goal really shook Panathinaikos. Did you see any tactical shifts from them after that point? Oh, absolutely. They definitely became more cautious, started dropping deeper into their own half, almost inviting Chelsea to try and break them down. And that kind of played right into the hands of players like Mudrik, who just thrives on exploiting space out on those wings. Okay, so let's talk about Mudrik then. He was absolutely electric in this match, wasn't he? That goal he scored just before halftime, the one that put Chelsea in the lead. Pure class. It really was. And it's starting to feel like he's really hitting his stride now, isn't he? And what's fascinating about that goal is how it showcased both individual skill and, you know, perfect tactical execution. That counterattack was so swift, so precise. Yeah. And Mudrik's movement off the ball, exceptional, really. He created that space for Phillips to thread that perfect through ball and then finished it with the composure of, well, a seasoned striker, you know. It's moments like that which really highlight just how much work goes into those goals. Yeah. It's not just about being in the right place at the right time. It's about reading the play, anticipating those runs, yeah. and then having the technical ability to actually pull it off under pressure. Exactly. And this match really showcased that burgeoning partnership between Felix and Mudrik on the pitch. It's like they have this innate understanding of each other's movements, each other's strengths, and that is a very dangerous combination for any opponent to face, let me tell you. Oh, absolutely. And then to top it all off, we had the return of Christopher Hunkuku from injury. And it looks like he didn't miss a beat, just added another layer to Chelsea's attack. Yeah, and Kunku's impact was immediate, that's for sure. His goal, Chelsea's third, it was a testament to his clinical finishing, you know? Yeah. And his knack for just finding those pockets of space in the penalty area. Now, Reese James deserves credit for that assist. But it was in Kunker's movement that created the opportunity in the first place. Wow. He ghosted him behind the defense, and when that ball came to him, well there was only ever going to be one outcome. Classic poacher's goal, right. And with that 3-1 lead, you could practically feel the momentum shifting entirely in Chelsea's favor. And what's interesting is that even with that two-goal lead, Chelsea didn't let up at all. They kept that pressure on, you know, just dominating possession. Panathinaikos just couldn't get anything going, couldn't mount any sort of comeback. Sounds like they were really determined to make a statement with this performance, huh? Mm -hmm. Anything in particular stand out to you tactically in that second half? Well, they're pressing. It was relentless, just suffocating Panathinaikos. They forced error after error, especially in Panathinaikos' own half. And that's exactly how Felix bagged his second goal of the match. You know, the one that made it 4-1. It was a perfect example of what happens when you combine that kind of teamwork with aggressive, well-coordinated pressing. So two goals from Felix, a really strong showing from the midfield, and solid defending at the back. Pretty comprehensive win for Chelsea, all things considered. What does a performance like this tell us about their chances in the Conference League, you know, looking ahead? I mean, it definitely puts them in the driver's seat in their group, that's for sure. And it's a massive confidence boost, especially after some of those, well, let's just say less than inspiring performances in the Premier League lately. It's almost like they've flipped a switch when they step onto the pitch for the Conference League, isn't it? Do you think maybe the pressure of the Premier League is weighing them down a bit, affecting how they play? That's a really good question. It's certainly possible, you know. The expectations, the pressure, it's different in each competition. Maybe in the Conference League, they feel a bit more, I don't know, freedom. Like they can express themselves more, play with a bit more, I guess you could say fearlessness. And with players like Felix, Mudrik, and Kunku all playing at this level, 
they got to be considered serious contenders for the title, right? Absolutely, no doubt about it. They've got the talent, the tactical flexibility, and now the momentum. If they yeah. can maintain this level of intensity, this focus, they'll be a real force to be reckoned with in this competition. And you mentioned Chelsea's struggles in the Premier League. It's been a bit of a roller coaster ride for them domestically this season. Could this dominant performance in the Conference League be a turning point for them, you know, for their season overall? It's definitely possible. You know, sometimes all it takes is one big win like this. It can inject that much needed confidence into a team. It can shift the mentality, the belief system. But the key for Chelsea, well, it's carrying this momentum forward, translating it to the Premier League. So for our listener who's been following Chelsea's every move, what are the key takeaways from all of this? What should they be looking out for? as the season progresses? Well, I think the biggest takeaway is that this Chelsea team, they have massive potential. There's so much talent in that squad, and when they click, well, they can be absolutely devastating. The question is consistency, you know? Can they replicate this kind of performance week in and week out? Can they find that balance between their attacking flair and that defensive solidity that we saw in this match? Those are the questions that'll determine just how far they go this season. Yeah, it's amazing how one match can just completely change the conversation around a team, isn't it? Yeah. This win against Panathinaikos definitely gave Chelsea fans something to be excited about. It really did. You know, it's a good reminder that momentum plays a huge part in football. And a big win like this can be, well, almost like hitting the reset button. For sure. And I think we've covered a lot of ground today, haven't we? We went from that early shock, Panathinaikos scoring first right out of the gate, to Chelsea just taking control you know, really dictating the tempo. We talked about the tactical side of things, the individual performances, the whole nine yards. Yeah, we really delved into how key players like Felix, Mudrik, and Kunku all stepped up and what this win might mean for Chelsea as they navigate the rest of the season. It's been a really insightful deep dive, and I'm sure our listeners got a much clearer picture now of where Chelsea stands, Yeah. you know, what their strengths are, what they need to work on, all of that. Absolutely. Hopefully this analysis has given our listener plenty to think about as they follow Chelsea's journey. That's what we're all about here on the deep dive right yeah taking a single match dissecting it squeezing out all those insights really enriching our understanding of the beautiful game it's about going beyond the surface level you know peeling back the layers really appreciating just how complex and fascinating football can be so to our listener we encourage you to keep that curiosity alive keep asking those questions keep that passion for the game burning bright and until we meet again for another deep dive, may your team bring you plenty of joy, plenty of excitement on the pitch, 